What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Anybody in the chat that might be joining us today, welcome to an impromptu episode of the Codec, which we are, I guess, referring to as a public service announcement. Uh, we've got a little bit of things to uh, to clarify with a recent interview that we had with uh, Rika Muranaka, um, who I did on a different interview show. We spoke about it in the after show, the post show of our Doug Cockle interview, which um, went great, by the way, guys. I definitely want to commend you now that I have you here uh, as a group. That was a great interview and yeah. uh, everything went well. But let's, uh, in Yong's words, let's dive right into it. Uh, we had um, some issues come up with Rika and Konami based on a Reddit article that was written. Um, the Reddit article itself provided inaccurate information based on the show. We're going to elaborate that on here in just a second, but I want everybody to know the full kind of story of what happened. So after we did the show and Yong posted it on his channel, it caught some news traction because obviously it talked a little bit about Konami and Kojima. So um, with that, a user on Reddit who will remain nameless uh, went in and basically did a paraphrase summary of the show and didn't word what we said correctly. Uh, a few other of the large major news media outlets in gaming picked up on this Reddit article and published it as fact, which in fact isn't true. And I think a lot of the news articles themselves say this is hearsay, she said, he said kind of stuff. But the information that they're talking about is inaccurate within itself. Um, it stated that uh, Rika Muranaka said something to the effect of the issues between Konami and Kojima were because of payment disputes on bonuses and profit sharing within Konami, which is absolutely not true. What we were getting at is Kojima and Konami both are in the um, Japanese culture side of things where they do not expect profit share. They do not expect bonuses. Kojima makes a particular salary which allows him to create um, freely and not have to worry about how well or how unwell a game will sell. He makes his amount of money regardless. That was misconstrued in these articles to say that Konami was denying Kojima profit share or bonuses and that is what sparked the issues between Konami and Kojima which is completely untrue and completely the opposite of what Rika said. Mm -hmm. In addition, Rika Muranaka also clarified that she had no prior insight or prior knowledge about this. This was her opinion based on her knowing Konami and her knowing Kojima and she actually said in the interview, if you listen to the clip which I will attach at the end of my video, there's a clip of her talking about this kind of thing and which she says that she doesn't know for sure, but if she had to speculate or if she had to have her opinion on it, mm -hmm. it would be because Kojima is trying to create the game that he wants to, and it may be going over the budgets because of the delays in the Fox engine and the things like that. And that was just her opinion. It was no confirmation. Yeah. It was something for us, the hosts of the Codec, to talk about since we love Metal Gear and we support uh, the Konami games and we support Kojima as a creator. We wanted to talk about some of the issues that may be going on with some of our favorite titles and one of our favorite creators uh, of all time. So right. with that out of the way, um, it's definitely important to understand that uh, I may have during the show, as Yong pointed out, I may have not necessarily mix my words, but may have come across at a way where I was trying to say something else and then it came across as a different way. Uh, on the show, I also uh, stated myself that this was from the interview that I had with her. It wasn't a third party account. It wasn't somebody told me this. It wasn't the rumor mill. Yeah. We heard this directly from Rika. She said what she said about what she said, and it was in no way like shape or form like these articles on Reddit and uh, yeah. the other various outlets uh, had portrayed them to be. Right. So uh, with that said, Yong, I'd like to give you a chance to interject and maybe cover anything that I that I miss. It's always good to have outside eyes yeah. look at you know the things that you do and the things that you say. So uh, if you have you know some opinions and some insight mm -hmm. on this. Yeah, no, I mean, you pretty much covered everything. And uh, like you said, uh, a lot of this is Rika's opinion based on uh, what she's seen, based on, you know, her, her life in, in, in Japan and stuff like that. Uh, it's in no way, shape, or form fact. She doesn't have any exclusive insider knowledge on all the development aspects of Phantom Pain or anything like that. What she was basically saying is Kojima's a creator, Konami's a company, and that's that. You know, Kojima focuses on making the game, and Konami focuses on, you know, the business aspect of things. And maybe, in her opinion, maybe that has something to do with it. Uh, she wasn't declaring any facts. She wasn't saying, uh, "Yeah, uh, I I know that I know what's happening behind the scenes. I've been talking to people. Right. Nothing like that." Right. Um, 
Yeah, Konami's working, or Kojima's working very hard on this game, and, uh, you know, I, I, I was contacted by a few individuals about this matter. Just suffice to say that Kojima and company, what they're focused on is making the game the best possible, and that's their main just concern, their main thing for the fans. Uh, and so just keep that in mind, and, uh, you know, I, I think that maybe journalists out there shouldn't rely as much on a Reddit paraphrase as much as yeah. maybe contact us directly to right. really understand what we meant and stuff like that because a paraphrase is just a paraphrase that's right. a what he said what she said thing whereas exactly. what we you know the information we got was directly from rika and so we knew the full context of what she meant so um you know for any journalists out there who want to you know quote our show or anything come to us directly and right we'll we're be more all than public happy. Yeah, yeah, we're completely yeah. public, completely yeah. open. We're more than happy to clarify. You can contact us through a number of means. So just, you know, please check with us first before going to a Reddit post and taking what they said as fact. And, I mean, they, they did a – they paraphrase it, and I get why they did that uh, because, you know, sometimes people just don't have the time to yeah. watch a full interview. I get Especially that. Especially a two-hour one. Yeah, exactly. But uh, if you really want to get accurate information, the interview itself and the sources of – the information and the people doing the interviews, uh, you want to go to them to really uh, get a full understanding of what was meant. Um, right. And, uh, you know, apologies if any words were taken in a certain way or, you know, exactly. we might have said things in a certain way that might have made things seem a certain way that we didn't intend it. But uh, right. if that's the case, then we apologize. But, um, you know, again, we, we are more than happy to clarify if uh, something is unclear. Of course. Uh, and uh, we did that just now daily did a good job clarifying all of that Absolutely. so Thank i you. think it's all out there now and i think uh you know that's that so right i <laughs> think yeah, if anything um to to before i pass it to you ronan i think sure. it's important to understand that not only is what you know was said misconstrued but our show was founded on Metal Gear, where our first interview is with a Metal Gear cast member. We have nothing but love and respect for this game, yeah. its creators, and I know people sometimes give Konami a little crap here and there, but we all at the end of the day support their games. If we buy their games, we are you know, there in, in supporting them. So we were not trying to deface or deframe anybody. We never actually said some of the things that these articles said that we said. It was, uh, as Yong mentioned, paraphrased um, in, in a Reddit post, which uh, I have to agree with you, Yong. I think um, my last statement here is if you are a press uh, media journalist, game reviewer, show critic, anything like that, uh, and you're unclear about what was said in a show, even if you watch the show and, and we say something that seemed one way or you, maybe you took it a different way, you can contact us via our Twitter. I respond to that thing like lightning. You have uh, Yong is on Facebook, his YouTube channel. You have Ronan in, inside his stream. You can contact Ronan live pretty much every day. Pretty so much. if there's any issue that you're not sure about before you guys go out and write something that's, you know, illegitimate and it gets konami upset or this person upset please just check with us because we have nothing but love for the game yeah. and, and its franchise and it's you know em employees and workers so uh yeah, I mean, Ronan, what, what was said oh, sorry. Sorry. yeah just one last thing is uh yeah go for it from from the articles that were written people started maybe getting the idea that kojima might be greedy and that he doesn't care about yeah. how money is spent yeah. it's that that's not what was meant to be said at all okay he, <laughs> right all we yeah. were saying is he's a creator and he's very focused on creating the game that he wants to make and uh you know and and rika just shared her opinion on the, the culture and the way business works in japan and exactly. that that's that so we're we were never intending to put any one party or another under negative light we were just discussing really just possibilities and opinions and and that's that and which is what we do here in the show we right. just discuss exactly. stuff you know that you exactly. know, may or may it's, not be it's... true so just uh keep that in mind so yeah go ahead ronan so over to yeah. our regiment ninja yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i mean like like we've always been saying like during that episode we even said that this is all strictly her opinion and our opinion on the subject exactly. so anything that we say you know you always take with a grain of salt um <clears throat> I, I do understand that some people may may get the idea that, you know, they, they see Konami under, under a negative light after the events that have happened recently out of the, the news that have come out recently. But right. so far, we don't really have any solid evidence of what's going on. So everything that we say is, you know, that's based on what we've heard, seen, etc. Yeah. I do think in the case of the the 
uh, news outlets that have taken this information from Reddit. Like you said, Young, I think it's better for you to come to the actual sources of the information and talk to them instead of uh, relying on perhaps a Reddit post where sometimes mistakes happen. Sometimes they may hear things differently. Right. And that's not to out the person that actually paraphrased it because, you know, sometimes this stuff happens. But you want to come to the people that have got that information on hand and talk to them directly. Like, and like you said, we all have outlets to contact us. We have, we have email. You can, <clears throat> if you want to talk to me directly, you can contact me at corruptronin at gmail.com. That's a business email to, for me to answer questions. If you have that, you can find me on Twitter, corruptronin at, at, you know, uh, at corruptronin on Twitter. I'll be more than happy to clarify and answer questions if you are concerned. I'm sure we, all, we would all do the same. We don't bite, yep. or at least I don't think we do. Um, so if you, if you have those concerns, at least talk to us about that. And we, on my podcast that I, that I uh, had hosted a few days ago, one of my co-hosts, uh, he talked a little bit about some of the information that was coming up on, on Reddit about the, the news that came out from that. And for the most part, it seemed, seemed pretty accurate from what we were saying, at least. And he talked a little bit about, you know, what his thoughts were, considering that, you know, he has family that lives in Japan and right. he gets that information from them as well. And what Rika, what he says that, that, you know, that Rika said is, for the most part, pretty accurate, uh, accurate about the way business is in Japan. That's not to say that Konami is the bad guy in this sense. And we're not saying that at all. We're not saying Kojima is the bad guy in this. We're just saying that, yeah, you know, business. Talking. Yeah, business is business. You know, as Konami as a business, and we said this in the codec, you, you have to stay afloat. Yeah. You have to make money to stay afloat. And we totally understand that. And that's why, you know, when this information got out that day, we kind of understood Konami's perspective about what was going on between mm -hmm. them, not to out anybody out <clears throat> and saying that they were the bad guy in the long run to begin with. And the kind of, this kind of stuff happens all the time, you know. Sometimes you have a case where a person is more focused on their creative, uh, their creative mind and the things that come out of that, more so on the business aspect of that situation, which, you know, can sometimes clash. Yeah. This is just our opinion, though. We're not saying this is the right, actual case. Exactly. But but, you know, this is that's just what happens. Right. And I mean, it, it's it's easy to take, you know, see things in a different in a different light, depending on how you take a person's words. For example, I mean, I had to address concerns on on Young's video from from the, the cockle interview about people that claimed that my uh, my criticisms about cockle's voice during one of the moments <laughs> of the game was just a bit too harsh. And I had to clarify that, but I don't have a problem doing things like that if people are concerned about it. Like I said, the things that people may take from what we say may be different from what we actually mean. We'll be more than happy to address that and clarify that. If you have questions, you just have to come to us and at least talk to us about that. And we'll be more than happy to, to answer those questions. So don't be afraid to reach out to us, guys. Come to us for the source of information if you want that information from us. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I think... Uh, you, you really nailed it, Ronan. There's definitely uh, times, I mean, we're all only human here. We all have um, particular uh, schedules we have to keep. And, and, and so when we're talking together, sometimes we're, uh, you know, explaining everything that's happened within you know the week and the, the, when i ex first explained this rika interview to these guys that was the first time they heard of it i mean you can hear in the video y'all it's like wait 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 you talked to who you know what are you guys talking about so right. uh there was a lot of information compressed in a very short amount of time and as i said um and yong has said and ronan has said reddit is definitely not the source to get that from if you think about the the exchange of information coming from the interview that i had with rika to the explanation of it on the show, to the summary of it on Reddit, and then post it all over these different articles, the information is definitely going to to get misconstrued. So right. my last um, my last bit is a direct kind of message to Konami and Mr. Kojima if they happen to see this uh, video. We in were no means meaning to stir up trouble or talk about anything or uh, this fact being untrue or this fact not being true. All we were doing was talking about the show and we are very sorry that the Reddit community and some of the other, you know, games media journalists out there twisted the story to, you know, whatever length that was twisted. Um, what we said in the interview was accurate. What we said in the interview was opinion, and we stated that multiple times. Um, so if there is any issue with Rika, I would ask that either Kojima or Konami, uh, whoever views this video, understands that the issue is not actually with Rika. It is with a misconception of what she said via a Reddit post. She actually said nothing negative about the company or Mr. Kojima. She said this about this and that about that, and that was just her opinions on it. And neither was was it negative. As I said, I will attach the um, 
the uh, interview at the end of this video uh, mm. when it's archived on the YouTube channel. Um, so you'll have that to listen to just so you can see firsthand that it was just her opinion. It was a casual talk as much as like uh, the, the episodes of the Kodak are. So um, that's my last statement on it, Yong. Do you have any final uh, closing statements or thoughts? Yeah, I mean, uh, for those who don't understand how this uh, he said, she said thing works, there's this one game where you, I don't know, sit, you know, in a sit down with a bunch of people and you one person starts out with one message and you and you whisper it along yes. to the end of the yes. line and yes. what the, the person says at the end is completely different from what the person said at the beginning <laughs> or the context that at least gets twisted in some way shape or form right. it's that kind of thing that's pretty much something that happened and you know it can happen i'm not, we're not trying to degrade you know degrade any one outlet or whatever fun you know the reddit people they got excited they were like okay god right. look at this information maybe you want to share right. it and uh, things got misconstrued along the way fine you know it happens so it happens the purpose of this video is just to provide clarification and hope hopefully media outlets can express that as well that uh that you know rika in no way shape or form thinks one way or another of konami or kojima she isn't devaluing any one party or another uh we're just discussing sharing thoughts and opinions and the fact of the matter is that because we know so little we are bound to discuss these things right exactly I mean, so little has been shared about this whole debacle this matter that we're, we're going to get curious, we're going to discuss, we're going to talk about things, contemplate. And uh, so just, you know, keep that in mind. And uh, again, feel free to come to us at any time for any clarifications that are needed. And exactly. we'll, we'll be more than happy to oblige. So that's my last statement on that. All right. Uh, Ronan, what you got <laughs> for me, man? Yeah, just like yeah, just like Young said, don't be afraid to, to contact us. We'll be happy to answer questions. It's it's just that case of you know sometimes things get misconstrued over the long line or the grapevine, as my parents used to say when I was a kid. Oh, parents, <laughs> they're grapevines. The grapevines, you know, it, 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 that tends to happen. And mistakes happen. People like Young said, people get excited. Mistakes are made. Sometimes you hear things a bit differently. Sometimes you take things in a different light, and that's totally understandable. I don't. In my opinion, I don't really see anybody as the bad guy in this scenario at all. So, you know, it, it's it's okay. And for the people that did, uh, the person that may have paraphrased this and made those mistakes, don't feel like this is against you in any way. Right. It really isn't. This this is not this is not your fault in any way whatsoever. We're just trying to make sure that everybody understands what we actually meant and the context of what we said during the uh, the discussion that we had. Yeah. But you know, with that said, and I. I'd also like to apologize for not being on the camera right now, but it is, it's hot today. It's okay. And, <laughs> Are you gleaming? <laughs> uh, it's, it, I, can't, I, can't, I can't describe to you right now <laughs> how bad it is. It, it's pretty bad. So I'm just like, I can't. Yeah. You don't want to see me right now. It's, it's As probably, a wise white girl <laughs> once said, I can't even. I can't even. You, you don't, you don't want to see me right now. Trust me. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, it just make sure if you have those concerns or thoughts or even you know opinions or criticisms just feel free to contact us directly on those issues we'll be happy to address them for you and we like like young said we're all speculating on this all this is all just our opinion none of this opinion is fact or 100 percent accurate in any way way shape or form unless you are the person that was in that situation at the time at that place so take everything that we said during that with a grain of salt until someone is willing to speak up and talk about it accurately. This is all just what we speculate at least. Yeah, and, and right. one last thing I would like to encourage is that, I don't know, I, I mean, I get that people are curious about what is going on behind the scenes, but yeah. I think we should just talk more about the game and what Kojima's yes. doing with the game. Yeah. I think that's most important, and it, it's disheartening to me when I see all these media outlets just really Lash getting... Onto yeah. yeah, they're like on point when it comes to the Kojima, you know, debacle with Konami or whatever. But, you know, a new gameplay video releases and nothing. Not, yeah. not right. a lot is... I felt like <laughs> I felt like the whole Doug Cockle interview was undermined just for the ending part of the post-show. That little yeah. part of the post-show. Yeah, 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 the yeah. interview was amazing. We yeah. had some great insight. And we even talked about a couple of other things in the post-show. But no, this... Yeah, right, right. This section, that one little section there was <laughs> the key to everything. News. Like, media outlets really are into the drama aspect of things. Why can't we talk about the freaking game, which looks right. fucking amazing? <laughs> why, why isn't anybody, like, getting on that, you know, instead of of riding the drama train uh, I don't I don't get it which is why I don't really cover this whole thing as much uh, people ask me oh my god do you hear about this one thing and this other thing why, why aren't you saying right. anything about it I'm like I don't really oh. care at this point I mean we can talk all about it after the game's out but right now what I want to talk yeah. about is a freaking game which is amazing looks amazing and Kojima and company have been pouring their hearts out into this so let's support that instead of trying to focus. Days. Hey, yeah, yeah, considering how close it is to release, you think that's what we'd be doing right now, right? I know, I know, that's what I'm saying. But instead, days. there's more talk about this drama thing that 
honestly, for right. me, at this point is irrelevant until the Definitely. game comes out and until, you know, they feel like maybe you're really talking about it, fine. But let's just, let's let's get this game to as many people as possible and really support Kojima and company for their hard work and dedication to their fans. And uh, just, uh, it's an amazing game. I, I know it's going to be an amazing game. So that's what I want to support, and that's what I'm going to talk about in the coming few Absolutely. days leading up to the release of Phantom Pain. Perfect. So that's my take on that. All right, Ronan, right. say goodbye. That's it. <laughs> take care, guys. Thank you all for listening. I know this was kind of an impromptu uh, codec episode. For those, so for those of you who did stop in and check this out, we do appreciate you guys uh, being on point with the news. Um, <clears throat> But yeah, I guess I really don't have too much to say. Like I said, I apologize for not being on camera. You get two codex this week. I know you get two, <laughs> one special, one off. Like this is off. This is kind of the off the record episode, right? None right? of this has been scripted or written down or anything like that. This yeah. is all just off the top of our head. So yeah. that's something else. You, do you see the viewer count? I know. It, it's, There's like 200 people here. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I sent out a media, uh, social media message <laughs> right before. So well, well, thank you, Yon. Yeah, 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 we appreciate that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> like I said, thanks for watching, guys. We will see you all on the upcoming interview that we have with uh, Debbie Mae West this Friday. Okay. So until so. next time, guys, you all keep it classy, keep it sharp. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. And I'll see you guys next time. And you guys uh, know, already know where, I, where I'm at. I'm obviously uh, deeply uh, apologetic to, to Rika and anybody who it's really affected. But uh, just understand it wasn't our intention. It didn't actually come from us. We didn't say any of this information. We were talking about an interview that had already happened. So um, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. As Ronan said, we do have Debbie Mae West herself coming on this week. I just wanted to share one question that I have with you guys before we leave. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you guys think Debbie Mae West is Eva? What do you mean? Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> to be answered on the codec. <laughs> Wait, I'm exactly. not sure what you meant by that. I know. No, I'll, talk, I'll talk to you about it afterwards. We're going to let everybody ponder what I mean here. Um, in the meantime, thank you guys so much uh, for, for tuning in and watching. And thank you, Yong, for helping us out with this clarification video. Yeah. Go ahead and do your outro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so with that, <laughs> folks, uh, I would like to, I guess, end this episode of The Codec. Thank you for tuning in for those who are here, and I hope you got a little more insight into what happened, and uh, just just know that it's 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 not that big of a deal. Um, right. we're, we're, we're good, we're fine, and uh, it's just, we, we, we were just talking, and things happened, and, you know, it is what it is, and hopefully this video will help remedy that, and, uh, you know, Apologies to Rika if we cause any trouble or to any parties whom we may have affected in any way, shape, or form negatively. But, uh, you know, here's the clarification. So that's that. And, uh, yeah. So with that, I will see you guys next time. Yong out.